spanning 60 million years, the Devonian period describes the first major adaptive radiation of terrestrial-based life, where sporing vascular plants formed the first forests and primitive arthropods waddled onto land, opening the way for the emergence of the first vertebrates. But even with the diversification of life on land, the Devonian period is better known for what chose to remain within the water. Dunkleo osteus, the Devonian's mega-armoured fish that reigned as the ocean's apex predator for 24 million years, despite undergoing a recent identity crisis. This video was made possible thanks to a viewer posting this comment on the channel's very first YouTube video. If you have an idea for the next video, then leave a comment down below. I genuinely do read every single comment. Dunkleo osteus gets its name in honour to David Dunkel, a curator of vertebrate paleontology at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History and the Greek word osteion for bone. Translating to Dunkel's bone, this prehistoric megafish was first described belonging to the genus Dinohichthyus in 1873, but in 1956 was reclassified to its own genus Dunkleo osteus. In modern paleontology, the Dunkleo osteus genus is characterized as a wastebasket taxon, containing several large Dunkleo osteoid arthrodires. Currently, up to 10 species of this dunker fish exist, but many are considered synonyms for other species, and only three members have any real validity, being D. raveri, D. tudorensis, and what many consider to be the main Dunkleo osteus, D. torelli. Dubbed the Age of Fishes, the Devonian period saw an incredible diversification of marine life, most notable being plasoderms, ancient bony armoured fish considered to be the ancestor to all modern tetrapods. First emerging in the fossil record 439 million years ago, plasoderms were among the first jawed fish and possibly one of the first species to evolve internal fertilisation, as evidenced by a small female plasoderm that died during mid-birth with the umbilical cord still intact, discovered within Western Australia. The Dunkleo osteus lived 382 to 358 million years ago within the late Devonian period, and comprised a typical appearance for a placoderm, having bony armour along the head and thorax, and possessing pelvic fins, a trait believed to have first evolved within the placoderm's order. Whilst belonging to the class Plasodermi, the dunker fish also belongs to the order Aphrodia, which translates to jointed neck, possessing a movable joint between their front armour plates and body. This order of Plasoderm is considered to be the most successful and widespread of the entire Devonian period. Dunkleo osteus inhabited several areas, being discovered in places such as Europe, North America and potentially Morocco. Being classified as a pelagic fish, the Dunkleo osteus made its home within the ocean's open waters, inhabiting the pelagic zone, which is defined as a water column divided by depth of the open ocean, with the Dunkleo osteus inhabiting the mid-range for this water depth chart. What truly made this prehistoric megafish iconic, being considered an icon within Ohio itself, is the jaw structure that this fish possessed. Dunkleo osteus could open its mouth in under 20 milliseconds, and complete a single bite in as little time as 50 milliseconds. This incredible speed would create an underwater vacuum, sucking any nearby prey into the jaws where the bone teeth would crush any hope for survival. With bite forces estimated between 4,000 and 5,200 newtons, the Dunkleo osteus is considered to have the strongest bite force of all known fish species within the animal kingdom. This suggests that the Dunkleo osteus would hunt armoured prey, such as ammonites and other smaller placoderms, requiring a strong bite force to break through the armoured shells, suggesting ambush predation tactics aided by a suction-powered bite. And now onto the size of the Dunkleo osteus. Initially believed to have grown between 20 to 30 feet in modern paleontology, it was revealed in a 2023 paper that this size estimate was greatly exaggerated and based off incorrectly imposing head to body length ratios of extant sharks to the Dunkleo osteus. This paper by Russell Engelman highlighted several inaccuracies of previous length estimates of Dunkleo osteus, 
noting that length estimates based off upper jaw perimeter produced lengths twice that for known Aphrodite fossils, giving the Dunkleosteus exaggerated body proportions with an unusually small head-to-body ratio of 8%, whilst most taxa having 18-30% to ratios. In the same year, Engelman published a new size for the Dunkleosteus, growing to 3.4 meters for adults and 4.1 meters for larger individuals, with a weight estimate around 1 ton. This new size estimate was based from comparison of 972 extant fish species and known Aphrodite fossil remains. This analysis revealed an exaggeration of jaw width to body length proportions of the Dunkleosteus when compared to other Aphrodias, producing an elongated body more similar to today's sharks than what would have been possible for an ancient Aphrodite fish. Engelman reports that the body type of a Dunkleosteus would be rather bulky and wide, implying a robust, slower-swimming apex predator, dispelling the folklore myth of an ancient 20-30-foot-long to 30 foot long super mega ultra armored fish, instead only reaching 12 feet, much to the shock and horror of Dunker enthusiasts and versus video content creators. And that is the Dunkleo Osteus, a cautionary tale to always fact-check perceived common knowledge. And if you enjoyed this video, drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.